Good morning my dear student in today's lecture we are going to deals about the unit number 1 that is electrolytic conductivity in previous video we study the basic definitions which are useful in electrolytic conductivity in today's topic we are going to study about resistance conductance specific resistance specific conductance equivalence conductance and lastly molar conductance now you already familiar with the resistance definition of resistance is like that resistance is a measure of opposition to current flow in electrical circuit so resistance means it stop or it is the opposition to the current flow resistance it is measured in ohm if you are having physics you already familiar with the resistance terms one scientist having the name george ohm he study the relationship between voltage current and resistance so therefore uh, he on basis of his name the unit is coming that is the unit for resistance is ohm it is denoted by capital r now conductance you already familiar in last lecture that the material which conduct electricity it is called conductance or conductor metallic as well as electrolytic conductors obey the ohms law so what is the ohms law i is, is equal to e upon r where i is nothing but the current strength in ampere e is the potential difference or emf in volt r is the resistance in ohms if we consider e is constant then i is inversely proportional to 1 upon r so that is in other word it call as when emf is constant the current strength that is i is inversely proportional to resistance so conductance conductance is defined as it is a reciprocal of resistance now consider conductance it is denoted by capital g and resistance denoted by capital r therefore the conductance that is g it is nothing but reciprocal of resistance that is g equal to 1 by r now go for the unit of conductance you know that resistance having the unit ohm and conductance resistance these are opposite to each other so therefore unit for this conductance is ohm inverse it is also called opposite mho or mo in bsc part 2 there are number of experiment which depend upon the uh, conductance measurement now go for the si unit of conductance is siemen it is denoted by capital s and uh, one siemen is nothing but equal to 1 upon ohm inverse and that is ohm having the symbol it is given at the bottom specific resistance so resistance again divided into number of types out of that focus to the specific resistance so definition is like that or the the resistance offered by the conductor the resistance offered by the conductor for the passage of electricity through it is directly proportional to length and inversely proportional to area of cross sections now go for this diagram consider it is a wire it having some length and having the cross section area a length it is denoted by l and a it is given by that is a nothing but area of cross sections therefore r is the resistance proportionality sign is there so resistance is directly proportional to length and inversely proportional to area of cross sections now change the proportionality sign by some constant therefore r it is equal to rho into l by a rho into l by A. Now exchange the position of R and rho. Then you will find rho it is equal to R A by L. 
where the proportionality constant that is rho is known as specific resistance proportionality constant rho is known as specific resistance now uh, if we consider you uh, length is length of that wire is unity that is one and area of cross section is one then r it is equal to rho then r it is equal to rho so directly you have to substitute in this last equation area of cross section is one length is one then you will find resistance it is equal to specific resistance now the definition is coming for specific resistance so it is like that the resistance of a column of the material of conductor having unit length unit means one and unit area of cross section now go for the unit in last equation you know that rho it is equal to r a by l r a by l consider resistance unit is ohm and area of cross section is meter square and unit of length is meter 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 get cancelled so only one term is remaining that is ohm meter ohm meter again number of units are there ohm centimeter so it is the information about specific resistance at right hand side also you observe that a means area of cross sections and l means length of that wire now go for the specific conductance within one line it is not a extra term it is only the reciprocal of specific resistance so specific conductance is defined as it is a reciprocal of specific resistance it is denoted by k that is called kappa and the k it is equal to 1 upon rho that is 1 upon specific resistance now the unit of specific resistance when we opposite that unit then the unit of specific conductance is observed that is k which is nothing but equal to l by a into 1 by r so now replace the length by meter and a that is area of cross section by meter square and r by ohm meter meter get cancelled we get 1 upon meter ohm 1 by meter means meter inverse 1 by ohm means ohm inverse so unit for specific conductance is meter inverse ohm inverse you will find these units are totally opposite to the unit of specific resistance here you find at the bottom ohm meter specific resistance ohm meter specific conductance meter inverse ohm inverse equivalence conductance here definition of equivalence conductance is like that the conductivity of all the ions produce when 1 gram equivalent of the electrolyte 1 gram equivalent of the electrolyte is dissolved in v centimeter cube solution it is denoted by lambda v mathematically lambda v which is nothing but equal to k upon c which is again nothing but equal to k upon n within one line if we have to calculate the conductance of normal solution then it is called equivalence conductance i am going to repeat when we have to determine the conductance of normal solution it is called equivalence conductance where k is specific conductance c is the concentration of electrolyte and n is the normality of electrolyte it is the informations about equivalence conductance next molar conductance and equivalent conductance both are similar only one difference is that in equivalence conductance you have to take gram equivalent and here gram you will find the similarity in the definitions molar conductance is defined as the conductivity of all the ions produce when one gram mole of the electrolyte one gram mole of electrolyte is dissolved in v centimeter cube of solution it is denoted by lambda m or mu c mathematically 
lambda m it is equal to k upon c or which is nothing but equal to k upon m where k similar like a equivalence conductance specific conductance c is the concentration of electrolyte and m is the molarity of electrolyte thank you very much my previous video you will find here as well as on the ice cream thank you